Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to get new video clients in 2025. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your business, I'll share actionable tactics to help you land more clients, creating pricing packages that work and market your services effectively. Let's get started. The first step to landing more clients in 2025 is finding your niche. You can't be everything to everyone, so it's crucial to narrow down your services and target a specific market. Maybe you're into wedding videos, corporate promos, product videos, or social media content. Whatever it is, focus on what you're passionate about and where you can add the most value. Once you've identified your niche, build your portfolio around it and tailor your marketing materials to speak directly to those clients. Specializing will help you stand out in a crowded market and attract the right kind of clients for your business. Now let's talk about building out packages. Offering packages makes it easy for potential clients to understand what they're getting and it simplifies the sales process for you. Start by offering three tiers of packages, a basic package with essential services like short video with minimal edits, a mid-level package with more features like additional shooting time, more edits, or added music licensing. And then a premium package that includes everything from full day shoots, multiple locations, drone footage, and even social media cut downs. The tiered structure gives clients options and it helps you upsell your services by showcasing the extra value in higher packages. Make sure each package is clear and highlight what's included in each one so clients can easily compare one, two, three, good, better, best. I do highly recommend adding into these packages a package of content that the client gets also. You get a one to two minute 16 by nine explainer video and then you get five out of that video social content, four, five, nine, 16, up to 30 seconds, broken out. You can give them the, the first video and then talk to them about the secondary stuff, secondary, but they get that package for that price. XYZ costs you $2,000 for this package. It includes one day shoot, four, five, six assets, whatever that is, however much you, you deem, you know, whatever your pricing is, uh, gets you the edit time, the drone footage, the music licensing, everything built in the same package so you can just send it off onto them, say, this is what you get, this is the price, and boom, done. Helps out a ton. Next up is pricing. Pricing your video services can be tricky, especially when you're competing with others in the industry. It can be a noisy market. To set your rates, first look at your costs, including your time, gear, and any third-party services like music licensing, additional crew members, video editing services, then research what others in your niche are charging to get an idea of the market rate. A good rule of thumb is to start with project-based pricing rather than hourly rates, especially for bigger jobs. This gives the clients a clear understanding of what they'll pay and you avoid any disputes over time spent on revisions. Don't underprice your services. While you want to stay competitive, you also need to value your skills and the high quality work you deliver. It's equipment, it's your knowledge, it's everything. It's not just a video and people see it as that. And you have to inform people that there's a lot of elements here. Your camera package could cost anywhere from $2,000 to $50,000. Your lighting package could cost anywhere from $1,000 to $7,000. Your audio kit could cost you $50 or it could cost you, you know, $5,000. Depending on what your kit is, you have to charge for that kit plus your time plus your knowledge, all of that goes into the package, as well as the assets that they get. Don't charge for just one thing. Oh, it's gonna cost you $1,000 because that's how much it takes my time to edit and give you assets. No, no, no. Equipment, knowledge, your time, assets. That's how it needs to be broken out. It's taken me a long time to figure this out. I'm just trying to get you to level 10 right off the bat. Now that you've got your niche packages and pricing down, let's talk about marketing. In 2025, your online presence is everything. Make sure your website is up to date, showcasing your best work and including clear descriptions of your services. Clients need to understand right away what you offer and why you're the best at it. You should also be active on social media. Platforms like Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube are great for promoting your services. It's a numbers game, people. The more people you have viewing your content, the more people you have getting that in their mind, they need to have you doing it. It's great to have a YouTube channel, 
start a YouTube channel, create content, get up to that 150, 200, 300 video mark, you'll see growth. Especially you'll get better at it and you'll come up with ideas to make videos like this one right here. It helps you talk through it. It helps you, you know, figure things out. And then it helps your clients see your, you know, the way that you do things, how well you light something, how well you film something, how long it takes you to edit something. Like they, they can, they, they get that taste of, of who you are. And you can post snippets of your work, behind the scenes content and client testimonials to build credibility. And don't forget to engage with your audience. Answer those questions, offer tips and tricks, and connect with potential clients. Consider using targeted ads on Facebook or Google to reach specific audiences in your niche. Careful with this one because you can spend a ton of money and never hit the people you actually need to, to, to hit. You could pay for someone to do this for you. I do recommend learning it because it's something great to have in your tool belt. Remember, don't be the, the one stop for everybody, but you can learn how to do it. And it helps you out in the process. For example, if you do wedding videos, target engaged couples in your area. If you specialize in corporate videos, aim for small business owners or marketing professionals. One of the most effective ways to get new clients in 2025 is by actively reaching out. Don't just wait for clients to come to you. Go out and make connections. Start by cold emailing or messaging potential clients in your niche. Introduce yourself, share your portfolio, and offer a value-driven proposition. For example, you could offer to create a short promo video at a discounted rate in exchange for a testimonial or case study. Another key aspect is building relationships. Networking is still huge. Even in 2025 with the LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook world, both online and in person, attend industry events, join local business groups, and connect with other professionals in related industries. Remember, referrals are often the best source of new clients. So make sure to nurture your professional relationships. I get a lot of referrals to me, like if a client or if a friend of mine who does this also can't take on the extra work, they'll throw me a bone and say, hey, here's a job. If you ever you know, have one in the future you can't do, throw my way. I love giving those to people if I can't physically do them instead of trying to take it on myself and knowing that I'm gonna do a half-assed job. Help out, you know, helping people help themselves and helping others is great. And it's good for your business, it's good for your, your mindset. So, off my rant. A great way to build long-term relationships and grow your business is to offer added value. After completing a project, don't just send the final video and move on. Go down into the, you know, into the dust. Follow up with your clients, offer insights on how they can use the video across different platforms, and suggest additional services like creating social media versions of the video or handling distribution. By providing solutions beyond just the video itself, you become a trusted partner rather than just a vendor. This also opens the door to upselling. Clients may come back to you for future projects or even expand their current project to include more services. In 2025, landing new clients is all about specializing, offering clear packages, setting the right pricing, and marketing yourself effectively. By taking a proactive approach, finding your niche, reaching out to potential clients, and continuously building relationships, you'll set yourself up for success, I promise you. Remember, it's about creating value for your clients and standing out in the competitive industry. If you're looking just to talk with somebody and you want to bounce some questions off of them, I do have a consultation that we can do together. Down here in my shop, right here, you can book an hour with me at a minimal cost, right here, and you can talk with me one-on-one -on -one and we can go through some of these things for your specific business if you'd like to. So yeah, that's all I got. Hopefully you guys got something from this. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up or subscribe and hit that bell for more insights on growing your video business. Let me know in the comments how you're planning to find new clients this year. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.